Aside from waging devastating wars, imposing economic sanctions has for decades been another means used by the U.S. to get what it wanted. To pile up the pressure, the U.S. has on a number of occasions put a ban on using the dollar in transactions with the targeted states. Iran, Turkey and Russia are the latest countries hit with a raft of U.S. punitive measures, with Tehran facing a ban on using the dollar. By levying such a sanction, Washington aims to cut Iran off from the global economy, where the dollar is commonly used during international transactions. The USA is a military power and a bullying, arrogant one. And here again, its days are not over, but they are numbered uh, because the world is changing. New alliances are coming into being. Alarmed at a similar punitive action by the U.S., Turkey and Russia have now joined Iran in using national currencies in international trade. On a visit to Turkey, Russia's top diplomat said his country backs using national currencies to settle bilateral trade deals with Turkey, China and Iran. Sergey Lavrov also predicted that the role of the U.S. dollar as the currency of global trade will decline over time and eventually lead to its demise. Iran and Turkey have been trading in local currencies since October 2017 as part of an agreement between the two countries' central banks. This comes as the value of both countries' currencies has been plummeting recently. Among other issues, a fresh wave of U.S. sanctions is said to have played a role in the devaluation of the Turkish lira, the Iranian rial, and the Russian ruble. However, Ankara, Tehran, and Moscow seem pretty much determined to shun the U.S. dollar. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has recently come down hard on what he calls the U.S. attempts to unilaterally impose its rules on global finance. He said Turkey has made advancements in its ties with Russia in accordance to mutual interests. Shortly after Erdogan's remarks, the Kremlin said Russia favored bilateral trade with all countries in their local currencies. What seems to be a concerted effort made by Iran, Turkey and Russia to mitigate the effects of U.S. sanctions comes at a time Washington is engaged in a trade war even with its allies. The Americans are overusing their military power. They've not yet succeeded, for example, in Afghanistan. They think that they could do everything by military power, and they've done. And they're overusing their um, sanctioning power. But frankly, they're getting right up the nose of everybody in the world, because everybody knows that they could be next. Once you start playing this game, overplay it, everybody knows that you could be next. They overplay the diplomatic card, the economy card, the moral card, the political card, and they've overplayed their abuse of the SWIFT banking system and the use of the dollar as a reserve of currency. Given the circumstances, more countries are expected to take a tough stance against what many see as the U.S. abuse of the role of the dollar as a global reserve currency.